Okay, we're starting in Hezbra 8.6 on Gemar Brachos Tav Yud Dalet on the base. And we're going to talk about the following. There's a, there's a rabbi named Ula. And Ula's going to tell us the following, that if a person recites the Shema and he's not wearing tefillin, it's like he's giving false witness about Hashem. So let's see what that's about. Why is that? So if you look at the Shema here, you see the, in the Shema, one of the last psukim talks about tefillin. Ukshartem leos ayudecha, you shall tie the sign on your hand. Ba'ayu litotofos beninecha, and a totofot should be between your eyes. This is referring to the mitzvah tefillin. Let's look at our Gemara, and let's see what Ula happens to say about one reciting the Shema without his tefillin. Omer Ula, Ula states, Kol hakore kriyat Shema, below tefillin, someone who recites the Shema without his tefillin, Ki ilu me'id edut sheker ba'atzmo. It is similar to giving false testimony about Hashem. But really, it says ba'atzmo, about himself, but it's referring to Hashem. Why? As I told you earlier, because you're saying the Shema, and the Shema talks about the mitzvah of wearing tefillin, and you're not wearing tefillin. And tefillin is an os, and os is a sign that on my dedication to Hashem, Am Rab Chia Bar Abba, Am Rab Yochanan, Rab Chia said the name of the Yochanan, Ki ilu hikriv ola below mincha. It's like bringing an ola sacrifice, a burnt offering, without the accompaniment of a flower offering. Vezevach v'lona sachin, or a carbon, a zevach, an offering, without the, what they call libations, the pouring offering. So the whole idea is that you're doing a mitzvah halfway. And when you're doing it halfway, it has consequences in the sense of you're not fulfilling the mitzvah in the proper way to get the proper schar, proper reward. 